Hi, uh, in our channel, uh, we have always been uh, monitoring the situation around Taiwan and the South China Sea, because I believe uh, this is the, so to say, uh, the most risky area in our world today. Okay, now, uh, before I continue to tell you uh, what is new there and uh, why CCP China, yeah, under CCP, uh, you know, trying all the best to take Taiwan. Why they want to take Taiwan? Before I explain to you, check please again your subscription and make sure that they are still valid. If not, you know, subscribe it again. And uh, at the end, if you like it, don't forget to click like and support us, of course, through Patreon and PayPal. Now recently, in a symposium for uh, about uh, nuclear warfare and missiles and those stuff, yeah, the American Navy Admiral Charles Richard uh, pointed out that in the last uh, 10 years or so, the Chinese so-called People's Liberation Army has been investing heavily to develop their weaponry in an explosive way, as he put it. Yeah? And he, he wanted to, to raise the awareness of that so the whole world should really uh, you know, be, be aware of such a big risk. Because there must be a reason why they are doing such a, uh, you know, as I mentioned before in our previous episode, uh, in the last five years, according to statistics, uh, it's People's Republic of China built double so many warships as America per year. So there is a reason for it. Yeah? And this is important to find out, you know, why. Yeah? And really this region is getting so 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 intensive, so tense. Yeah, uh, recently, uh, in uh, whole August, uh, the 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 Western powers led by America make a its military exercise, quite a long exercise. I think it was from the second of August to the twenty second of August. You know, twenty days long uh, uh, exercise, and with joint forces from Japan, Australia, France, UK, and even Germany. So this is uh, unique. Yeah? Even German frigate was there for, 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 for joining this uh, exercise. So, and interesting also is during this period of exercise of the Western power, uh, or the democratic power, or power from the free world, People's Republic of China, the Communist uh, Navy, also also carry out uh, exercise right in the middle of the same time period. So why all this? Why China has been now talking about liberating Taiwan for 72 years and now they are not just talking, they are showing off their weaponry, showing off in form of military exercise and, and Xi Jinping has been many times declaring that he will use force when needed to, uh, to take Taiwan. So why? Why are they are so eager to take Taiwan? I think it's important for us to understand why. So let me uh, uh, analyze the whole thing in different aspects. First of all, maybe uh, the economic aspect. Yeah? Uh, well, you see, Taiwan has a highly developed economy. Uh, it's a very prosperous economy. Uh, among one of the most prosperous uh, economy in the world. And not only that, Taiwan had also developed itself to a kind of, uh, I would say, a leading country in semiconductor technology, in chip technology. You know, Taiwan has probably the most advanced production of highly sophisticated microchips that is needed from a mobile phone all the way to an intercontinental robot or missiles. This is something not only uh, it's a question of a lot of money, because uh, actually Taiwan, the, the, this company, Taiwan Semiconductor Corporation, they, they are not only one, one of the biggest uh, semiconductor uh, exporter in the world, 
uh, they are, as I said, technologically very advanced, much more advanced than the most advanced one in mainland China. And China need that. You guys know that uh, Huawei, this telecommunication uh, company, they are in big trouble only because America uh, sanctioned them by not allowing American company to sell those most advanced chip to them. And their sales has dropped more than 40% last year. Yeah? And it will continue to drop. Even the, the CEO of Huawei admitted the highest priority of Huawei now is to survive. Okay, so it's really something uh, uh, going on in, in, this, in this game. Now, uh, it can be the only reason that the CCP uh, with all means want to take China just because of, you know, get access to the most advanced technology in, in Taiwan. This is only one aspect. There are also other aspects. Uh, for example, military aspect. You know that Taiwan now, as long as Taiwan is not under CCP control, Taiwan now is under the control of a government called the Republic of China. Yeah? And this Republic of China government is, uh, has a very friendly relationship to America and the, and the whole Western world and actually uh, with the whole world except uh, People's Republic of China and maybe also not uh, Iran, North Korea and so on. Otherwise, they have a good relationship with ev ev uh, most countries. Now, uh, because Taiwan as it is, so that the CCP have no control over the water around Taiwan. You see, uh, in order to come out to the big international ocean, they have to come out to an area east of Taiwan. So imagine if Taiwan is occupied or under control of CCP, then the Chinese Navy can build their bases on the east coast of Taiwan. And that will help them to increase their, uh, their influence, their control military much, much more. They can access to the huge uh, Pacific and uh, the other end of the Pacific is California. Yeah, so this is also, uh, they call it the first island chain. This island, you know, from Japan to Okinawa to, 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 to Taiwan and Philippines, all this island is a kind of, um, I would say, a kind of uh, hinder for, for, for the CCP expansion, you know. So by controlling Taiwan, they have access to a huge ocean and access to uh, the West. So that's military reason. Now, uh, the, another military reason is that they, they have been also doing a lot of things in controlling the, uh, the South China Sea because South China Sea is very deep. So the Chi Chinese uh, Communist Party has built a huge submarine fleet and submarine, <laughs> the, the key the key function of a submarine is to be hidden so that your enemy cannot find you. So in South China Sea, it's very deep. The water is very deep. It's more than 1,000 meters deep. So there they can hide themselves very well. But today, uh, South China Sea is, most of the area is treated by Western country as an international water. So they cannot hide themselves so well. When they manage to make this as a domestic water, then of course they can hide themselves. That's another military uh, reason. Now, finally, there's also a political and maybe you can call it ideological reason. You see, Taiwan, the population is Taiwan, 100% Chinese. I mean, culturally, ethnically, they are Chinese. Only politically, they are not citizens of the People's Republic, but they are citizens of the Republic of China. Yeah? So now, with the existence of Taiwan, it would be very difficult for CCP to cheat the world by saying things like, uh, you know, Chinese people have their own definition of democracy and human rights. You know, we don't need to, uh, we, you know, it, the Western style of democracy doesn't fit, it doesn't work or whatever. Yeah, all sort of theory. They cannot do it. When you look at Taiwan, they were Chinese. 
They are Chinese culturally, and they started to democratize uh, Taiwan uh, in the 70s. And today, Taiwan is a perfectly working, uh, brilliant democracy in the world. Yeah? So that is like, uh, like a stone in the eyes. So it's difficult for the CCP to accept the existence of a functioning democ democratic territor territory of China. So another thing is the economy of Taiwan. You see, uh, the GDP per capita of Taiwan is about three times that of mainland China. Yeah? Tw year 2020, uh, uh, mainland China has a GDP per capita about uh, $10,500 uh, per, per person, so to say. While in Taiwan, the figure is 28300 so almost three times. So with that fact, the Chinese Communist Party cannot tell the world, look how great under the Chinese Communist Party, we have now a, f a fantastic, strong economy. We are the second biggest economy, you know. This, you cannot look at performance by only looking at the, uh, you know, whether you are number one, number two, you have to look at per capita. Yeah? And per capita, Taiwan is three times stronger. So that's another political reason. They want to get rid of Taiwan. It's, for them, it's terrible, long term to see, is that mainland Chinese look at Taiwan, look, democracy work. Yeah? And China, Taiwan is prosperous. Taiwan is working, functioning well. Taiwan has friendly relationship with almost all countries. It's difficult for the CCP to convince their own people that their way of ruling country is the best. This is the real reason. Now, the last thing I want to say is Xi Jinping wants to stay forever as the party boss and the president of China. And for that, he needs to show his people he is great. Yeah? And he may think, uh, you know, putting pressure on, on China, at least uh, on, on Taiwan, at least to show that he is ready to take Taiwan. Yeah? This is for him important to show so that he became a hero. And, 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 but that means he put a uh, big risk for the peace of the world. Thank you for today, and don't forget to click like if you like it. Bye-bye.